So following class test one, a lot of people have been asking about feedback and have been describing it as a, an unfair and a very difficult test. So I, I've, um, I've asked Vital to carry out an item analysis and to give us a summary of the cohort performance. So looking at the test, we had 200 students complete the test. There were 63 possible questions and the average was 70%. In terms of the difficulty of the questions, according to Vital, 27 of the 63 questions were easy, 31 were medium, and five were difficult questions, five hard questions. Now, the way the test was designed was so that every student would only have one difficult question. and they'd have five easy questions, and the remainder would be um, the medium questions, including at least one question that you will have seen before in the practice test. Now, in terms of how good the questions were, according to Vital, 52 of the 63 were good questions. Two plus one, three, were poor questions, and these Poor questions means that they're questions that everyone got correct. Everyone answered correctly. So although Vital considers that to be a poor question, that's good news for you. It means it's a question that was so easy that everybody got right but it means it's poor in terms of discrimination. It wasn't able to discriminate between students. OK, so in terms of how good the questions were, 52 out of 63 were good and 8 were fair. Now, looking at the distribution of marks, the average was 70.3, so that's our average of 70. And we have 12%, that means... 24 students getting a mark between 90 and 100. And it is actually 11 students who got 100%. So 11 students got full mark. 13 students got marks between 90 and 99. And if you look at these three columns, what we have here is just under 50% with a first class mark. And if you add this column here, what that shows us is 50 plus 24. So we have around about three quarters of the class getting a first or two one, i.e. a greater than 60%. Okay, and we have, I think, nine students who failed. Most of those failures were very close to the pass mark. So looking at the distribution and looking at your own performance, ask yourself, what was my average last semester? What was my average in the first year? What average did I get in other modules? and then compare it with the score you got from this class test. I'm pretty sure with an average of 70%, the class test gave you a mark higher than the average you would normally get. So when judging the test, was it a good assessment of my abilities? Did it test my abilities in a fair way? The answer will depend on how close that mark is to the average that you would expect. So if you normally score marks in the 60s and you got a 70 on this open book class test, then it's a pretty good test. So for an open book class test, I would expect your average to be slightly higher than what you would get in a, 
in a, an unseen, a closed final exam. But we wouldn't expect the average to be much higher than 70%. So I'm quite happy with this distribution of marks. I hope, on reflection, when you look at the proportion of easy and medium questions to the hard questions, when you look at how many good questions there are to the fair questions, I hope you will appreciate that this class test was in fact um, a fair and appropriate um, assessment of your abilities. Two things to add quickly. Um, I've made a slight uh, change to the rubric, to the mark distribution. So question 15, the one where it said spot the, spot the error, I've reduced the mark for that. Okay, so that mark has now gone down from 6.7, I think, down to um, 5%. And I've increased the mark for some of the other questions. So you will have noticed that your mark, your average, might have crept up just a little bit. If it hasn't, if, it, if it's gone down for some reason, then do get in touch. But for almost everyone, your average has crept up by a couple of marks as a result of that. So I hope you found that feedback helpful. And if, if, you're, if you're in one of these two columns, then you should be thinking really, what do I need to do to bring my mark up into the 60s and 70s? So perhaps um, better revision, pay, paying closer attention to the details, starting the practice questions earlier rather than leaving it to the last minute, asking more questions, going through the problem classes. So class test two will be in um, week 11 and it will have a similar format. So I hope, um, I hope you're all well prepared for that. I hope you found this summary of uh, feedback from class test one helpful and I'll see you all in class.